The Columbus Dispatch enlisted a Cub Scout and several local engineers to design the fastest Pinewood Derby cars possible. Without having to conform to the standard rules, they developed cheater cars and then we put them to the test. We actually, we did two concepts, the hot dog of doom. It's a rod of tungsten that weighs about eight and a half pounds, tungsten being uh, twice the density of lead. We ended up choosing another design, right. this re-entry, this two-part vehicle. It's turned out to be faster. We think both of them are world record uh, Pinewood Derby cars, according to our measurements. So there's a pin at the beginning of the track before the race that's engaged. And once that's disengaged, the car will go down, and then there's a, a pulley system that will disengage and release the, the re-entry vehicle. So as the car's moving down, then the second vehicle is gonna disengage and shoot forward with the extra momentum of the car and win the race. Our cheater car, our outlaw car, um, really that was uh, designed kind of a, uh, we looked at it kind of a cool factor. It's representative of the work we do at Patel. I'm in the vehicle systems group and we do a lot of uh, survivability and off-road capability, but we also wanted it to, to go fast, so we put a lot of, of weight into the vehicle. Uh, we did find out that there is, you know, there's a magic number. Uh, the weight uh, helps while you're on the ramp. As soon as you get on the flat, then friction starts to take over and it actually starts to slow the car down. So we really had to tune that the weight. So our cheater car, it's uh, with the spring. It's got the spring there. So when you have the pin, when you're loading the car in, the, the spring will pull the uh, lever back and it'll come back. So when the laser comes down, you can see it instead of having to wait all the way till you get to the back of the car. So the majority of our work was trying to get the axles and the wheels as smooth and aligned yeah. as possible. Yeah, the Cheater car also has, it's got really tiny wheel bearings in it. Uh, it it's, it's pretty smooth. We're sitting around trying to think about what kind of weight we we're going to put on the car. It's about 2 in the morning last night. <laughs> <laughs> so the optimal case would have as much weight on the downhill and less weight when you're on the flat part. So we're having a big large weight that sheds when you get to the flat stretch. OSU Center for Automotive Research ended up taping down its weight that sheds, and Edison Welding Institute added tape to its wheels. So we tested this on a wood track. On the wood track, the fine wheels were just fine. They were kind of cutting into the wood, giving a lot of traction. The problem is it's too heavy, and we're getting slagging friction from the metal on metal. You know, it's like in NASCAR. When it starts to get wet, you got to change your tires. It can still come back. <laughs> down to the hundredths of a second, but Battelle Memorial Institute won the cheater race, followed by Kyle the Cub Scout, OSU, and Edison yeah. Welding.